How's it going guys? Today we are reviewing the Faction Fab F-Spec lowering springs that I've had on the car for the past month or so, which has included the normal daily driving along with a trip up to Road America for a grid life event. So we put a decent amount of miles on these as well as some track time. But before we get into that, let's go through some of the details and specs on these springs. You can pick these up for just under 240 bucks. As far as spring rates go, they are gonna be a bit more stiff than the OEM springs. Uh, the stock spring rates on the FRS are 129 pounds per inch in the front and 213 pounds per inch in the rear. And then on the BRZ, it's 151 up front and 196 in the rear. These springs are gonna bump that up to 230 pounds, 230 pounds per inch in the front and 250 pounds per inch in the rear. Along with stiffening up the suspension, these are also gonna give you a drop of one inch up front and 0.8 inches in the back. Uh, they include everything you need. So you've got the bump stops, dust boots. They also have some spring silencers installed, which are basically just a plastic cover that goes over a portion of the springs to help get rid of any unwanted noise. For those of you who didn't know, this car came with some stand suspension Super Sport coilovers. Did okay on the track, but they are far from comfortable out on the road. When I picked this car up from Houston and drove it back, my back took an absolute beating. Once I swapped out to these springs, it felt like the car was back on OEM suspension. They do a great job of absorbing those bumps and abnormalities in the road, but once you hit those twisties, you can really feel the stiffer springs working to help reduce some of that body roll and keep the car flat in the corners. Uh, I always hear a lot of people complaining about aftermarket suspension being too stiff or bouncy. Bounce, 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 bounce. And I really didn't get any of that with these and they were super comfortable through daily driving and with our trip to Road America. So once we got out on the track, I honestly wasn't expecting much. Yes, these are more stiff than the stock suspension, but they are still a very conservative suspension setup uh, compared to the set of coilovers that I had. However, I was pleasantly surprised at how well these actually performed. They were really predictable in the corners. You could feel that weight transfer smoothly and the car getting planted when entering the corners. And there really wasn't as much body roll as I expected, which made the car enjoyable to drive. Obviously, I wouldn't uh, suggest these for someone who is seriously tracking their car but for somebody who is mainly daily driving their car uh, with the occasional autocross or track day here and there this is a fantastic set it and forget it setup that you don't have to worry about adjusting any settings or ride height you can just go out and enjoy the car and I think that's one of the best things about a set of lowering springs now if we take a look at how the car sits with the mild drop it actually doesn't look absolutely terrible at all of course, it's not uh, slammed to the ground and there's still a decent amount of wheel gap, but that's to be expected with just swapping out the springs. With the one inch drop up front and 0.8 inches in the rear, it evenly lowers the car just enough where we don't have to worry about any rubbing or rolling the fenders. So again, it's a really convenient setup where you don't have to make any modifications. So to sum it all up, if you guys are in the market for a suspension setup that is truly set it and forget it, no bells and whistles, but can still enhance the driving experience and put a smile on your face, the Faction Fab Aspect Lowering Springs do just that and add a fraction of the cost of a set of coilovers. Now that being said, since I am building this car and turning it into my dedicated track car, we are going to be swapping those out and throwing a set of coilovers on. But I'm probably going to reminisce about the days that I did have this setup on the car when I'm driving about 10 plus hours to the track on the stiff suspension. But if you guys are interested in picking a set of these up for yourself, I will drop a link down below. Let me know what suspension system you guys are running. And if you're interested in following along on this build, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.